um welcome to my first i don't know what do you call it like youtube interview sit down chit chat i don't know um but i wanted to sit here and and, and kind of um find like a little cozy corner in my backyard it's it's such a beautiful day today huh yes honey it did. This is Chewy, by the way. Um, listen, if I'm not looking where I'm supposed to be forgiving, this is new to me. Um, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. I started this, um, just fixing the lighting here. I started this YouTube page because of my students, because we have been, I mean, for lack of a better word, forced into online learning, into remote learning. And, um, you know, I'm trying to make the best out of it. I, I, I still have a job. I don't have to expose myself to, to the pandemic. And I honestly just want to thank everybody who's still going to work, who's still going out there and, um, I mean, putting their life at risk to, to help others. Um, we have to count our blessings. I I was... Um, this morning, I, I was so frustrated because I look at my house and I clean and I clean. And then, um, you know, having the kids here at home and my husband, it's it's just a never-ending story. And then, and then I realized... God, like, I live in a house that has a backyard. I mean, for God's sakes, my husband built a volleyball net for the kids. Um, they have a yard to play soccer. And, and there's there's many of you guys who, who may not have that. And having a dirty house uh, is not the worst thing in the world. Um, I do... I do tend to suffer from um, anxiety, so uh, you know that plays a little bit into it. But I think a lot of us right now are are going through that. We're experiencing that anxiety, that cabin fever, and um, geez, like I, I I am not a social media person. I wasn't a social media person, but I have to say, thank God for TikTok and thank God for YouTube because it has been one of the things that has given me a sense of norm well not normalcy but uh, a sense of it's an outlet like a creative outlet and um and come what may of this i hope i do everything with with good intention and with that higher power you know to guide me um i if something good comes out of this awesome but it already has something good already has come out of this because i i get to still connect with my students and you know we were supposed to reach out to them and i didn't so i have 300 students and literally more than a hundred kids responded back which was amazing and all they wanted to do was say hi and be around my vibe and be around my crazy so i'm very blessed and because i'm very blessed i'm i'm being very stingy and very greedy because i love my job so much i love going to work i i'm a, I'm a dance teacher and I, I love being in the dance room i love interacting with my students but uh we'll get there we'll get there again and um you know i often i often sit my kiddos down um, and I, you know, my students, I sit them down and I have these deep conversations with them and I'm sorry, I'm a little sniffly. Um, I have these conversations with them and I guess the conversation that I would have with them today would be, let's let go of the pettiness. Let's let go of, of, of the little, when we come out of this quarantine, let's make sure that we don't forget. The minute we forget it was all pointless 
and this cannot be pointless there have been too many people who suffered too many people who died um we cannot forget and the way that we show we did we haven't forgotten is by making a change by making a difference um let's be kinder to one another and, and i tell i tell my students all the time if you're gonna send a text if you're gonna argue with someone don't do it over text um if you're gonna send a text you know be nice and if you're not gonna say anything nice then don't send it don't hide behind the screen um we're gonna get out of this this quarantine we're gonna get out of this horrific horrible pandemic but let's get out of it being better let's get out of it being different better people because otherwise what was it all for and you know many times there is no reason why horrible things happen and there's nothing we can do about it there's nothing we can do of why this happened or you know there's no logical explanation but i will tell you this the only thing you can control is you and what kind of a person you're going to be after this i hope everybody's safe I hope everybody is finding um, a healthy way to cope with all this, whether it be drawing or singing or playing an instrument or hiding in your little corner just to get some peace of mind. Um, whatever it is, meditate. Um, but when I get back, I want to give all of you guys the biggest hugs. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably becoming a germaphobe. But I will give you fist pumps. And um, this is how I'm going to sign off. Because I always sign off this way with my students. I hope you have a great day. And then you would say in return, you too, Ms. Guzman. Have a great day, you guys.